Am I the a hole for telling my half sister my dad didn't do anything wrong? My parents were married and had me. Then my mom cheated on my dad while I was still a baby and got pregnant with another man's child. My dad filed for divorce and established through the courts that he was not the father of my half sister and fought not to have parental responsibility of her. My dad did get shared custody of me and because of shared custody did not have to pay child support. My half sister's bio father was unknown and while mom did try to find him, was unsuccessful. My mom went on to have four more kids with four different guys. My dad continued to take care of me, but never took them on. When dad knew mom was struggling, he would make sure I was taken care of at her house, since CPS and the courts did not believe things were bad enough for me to live with him primarily. So, I was always better taken care of than my siblings. My half-siblings all hate my dad, and I believe a large part of that is due to mom telling them stuff all through the years. When I was about 13, mom tried to poison me against dad by telling me how dad let them suffer, how he fought to reject my half-sister, how he was often mean to her about them when she would talk to him. But it did not change how I felt about my dad, and when I was 16, I made a decision to go live with him. I just turned 20, and my half-sister is 18. She came after me to argue and to have it out over my dad. She accused me of being a jerk for not being mad at dad. She then went on to tell me a story about mom struggling to afford diapers and how dad made sure to send diapers that were just my size instead of money so mom could buy for both of us and how he even saw her out with us once and bought stuff that could be just used on me when she was right there. I told her I didn't see what my dad did is wrong because he was never her dad. She said he could have been, but he rejected her in court. I told her again that to me, dad did nothing wrong. She called me an a-hole, said as her older brother, I should be furious that he would be okay with her and the rest of our siblings going hungry, not having the right care, and that he could have stepped up, but chose not to which should make me hate him. She said the fact I could look her in the eye and say he did nothing wrong made me just as bad as him. Am I the a-hole? Now for the top comments. Opie, did he ever do DNA test on you? That might explain part of your mother's strange behavior. Yes, a DNA test was done on me too. Then your half-sister is in for a rude awakening when she gets into the real world. You're actually being a responsible older brother by showing her that nobody's entitled to anything from an unrelated third party, regardless of whether her mother used to be married to said third party. If the courts have not already explained this to your mom and her other kids, they will if they provide the opportunity. Absolutely not the a-hole. Their anger is directed at your dad because they saw him providing for you. He is not obligated to spend a dime on your half-siblings. Where are their dads? That's where their anger needs to be directed to. The half-sister's dad wasn't aware of her existence as the mom had no idea of who he was or where to find him. To notify him he had a kid, let alone get child support. The blame should be on the mom for repeatedly having unprotected fun with dead beats and strangers. We don't actually know what the fathers of the other children were or weren't told. All we know is what mom said. But if she's trying to get money or sympathy to get money, she could easily lie about it. After all, there's no good way of confirming the veracity of anything she says on this topic. Not the whole and your mom is a bad person. Right? So many posts lately where women pop out babies and expect other people to care for them. They should hate their mother. It sounds like she couldn't find any of the other dads. There's a word for that. Next story. Am I the a-hole for refusing to go to my sister's recital or games? My 22 female brother, 17 male, was an affair baby. What ended up happening was the following. My dad remarried another woman and gained a stepdaughter, 17, who he treats like his own. My mother remarried another man and had my half-sisters, 14 female, 13 female. My brother's father is not in his life. As a kid, I spent an equal amount of time with both parents but my brother was always with mom. From what I know, my brother doesn't call anyone dad. This is something that really affects him. He's always wanted a dad and one of those happy little families. And I recently found his letters to Santa from when he was younger and I'm absolutely heartbroken. It is something I now feel very strongly about. Because my mom works a lot, no one ever shows up to my brother's games. He doesn't really care or at least acts like he doesn't. Well, my boyfriend and I decided to go to every one of his games and have been going to every game since last year. He always gets really happy. He even jokingly calls us his parents as we sit with all the other parents. 
This is something I only do for him. My brother had his final volleyball game near the end of October and, like always, I was going. However, as I was about to leave, my mom said she needed to talk. Ten minutes later, my dad shows up. They usually cannot stand each other, so I thought it was something serious. They just told me that it's nice that I go to all my brother's games, but my sisters on both sides feel left out, and I should make an effort to go to their things too. My 17-year-old stepsister had some dance rehearsal on the same day, and they wanted me to go to that instead, to prove that I'm not playing favorites. They also said that they want my boyfriend to go as well. I said no. They kept begging though, and my mom told me that my other sisters had something coming up as well. I said no. Unless it's a major game or recital, I won't attend. I'm already very busy. I'd only do this for my brother because, unlike my sisters, he has no one. My parents said that wasn't fair to the girls, because they deserve to have an older sister. They both also agreed that it's weird my boyfriend and I act like his parents. I just told them that sucks, but I have a game to get to. They're both still mad at me. I haven't been allowed in either house since that day, until I promised to commit to the girls as well. But I keep refusing. My mom's called me mean, selfish, etc. And my dad keeps saying that he never expected this from me. I don't know. Am I the a-hole for refusing to do the same for my sisters? I just want my brother to have one thing as he never gets anything. But maybe I'm the a-hole for doing this at the expense of my sisters. Not the a-hole. I'm just curious. Did you point out that you wouldn't have to if either of them could commit to being there? The blind spot they have here doesn't make much sense. No one is coming to brother's things. That's why you're going. If they showed up, you wouldn't have to. This convo should become one of the now three of you adults, doing what's best for the four still children. And you aren't being mean or selfish. You are being a great sister slash adult by willing to help out. It's not weird you and your boyfriend act as parents. It's weird that brother's parents aren't yet see the value in being present. Yes. I stated very clearly that the main reason I attend is because my brother has no one going to his games, while my 17-year-old sister's mom always goes to her dance stuff, and my other sister's dad is super involved in their sports. They just replied with, well, it's unfair to your sisters. What a weird blind spot. It's not unfair to anyone, unless they are intentionally not making efforts for your brother, which would be an incredible a-hole move. You are doing a good thing in seeing a presence gap and filling it. And frankly, your parents should applaud you. The only ask they should do is like, take a bunch of pictures and do a group chat and pass on our pride to brother. So we know his parents are just dealing with circumstances. To ask you to just take on sister's stuff kind of implies they could be there for brother and just chose not to, which is just disgusting. Not the a-hole. You are being an amazing big sister. Furthermore, it sounds like there isn't a bad blood between you and your sisters anyways. Like clearly, he needs this more than they ever could. Furthermore, how awful of them to say it's weird you and your boyfriend acts like his parents. Maybe if his real mother acted like a parent to him, you wouldn't have to. Thanks, there's no bad blood. But I feel like we're all aware that my brother will always come first no matter what. I feel that does cause a bit of friction occasionally, but that's just how it is. I know that might be an a-hole thing to say, but I can't bring myself to feel bad. No one ever felt bad for my brother. And tell me about it. While the way my dad talks to and about my brother upsets me, it is not the same as my mom borderline neglecting him. Next story. Am I the a-hole for not telling my parents about the award and that I won? My 20 female sister, 18 female, when she was 12 years old, was diagnosed with cancer. Because of this, my parents became almost completely absent from my life, as my sister has spent a lot of time in the hospital or undergoing chemotherapy. So 70% of the time, I was alone or just being ignored. My sister was cured of cancer at 15, and things were back to normal. My parents, always absent in my life for everything, not just school, interfered with our relationship. In those three years, they never knew my grade, any game I played, anything related to me. If I showed up with blue hair, they wouldn't notice at a time. And I tried so hard to get their attention for five minutes, but eventually just gave up. It's okay. They were focused on my sister and I get it. But yeah, I created a life independent of them. My parents even try to get closer and we have a closer relationship. But it was never really the same. I don't have a close relationship with my sister because we don't get along so well. But even so, they never expressed an explicit interest in what I do. 
and managed to get into college. Currently, I still live with them, but I intend to move by July next year. I'm paying rent and for my share on the bill, groceries, etc. Recently, my scientific work in college competed for an award at a state level, and I was super happy. The award did not take place in person and it was by Zoom, and I ended up winning on Wednesday. On Friday, me, my boyfriend, and friends went to celebrate for dinner. My boyfriend and friend posted thanks congratulating me. On Saturday, before I went to work, my parents came to talk to me, asking about the award and if I had really won. When I confirmed it, they started asking how I didn't invite them to see the award and how could I hide something so good. I just replied that I didn't think they would mind honestly. They started complaining but I said I had to work. Later, my sister texted me saying that I broke our parents' heart by saying that and that I was really punishing them for something in the past that they couldn't help themselves. My parents are distant from me and my sister is still calling me an a-hole. They never really showed interest in my stuff or ask anything, even after, which doesn't happen with my sister. But am I the a-hole? Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole. This might be a wake-up call for your parents that they needed. Truth can be harsh sometimes. The parents didn't react to anything Opie did for three years, like blue hair, which is not to say they didn't care. It sounds like the parents were more upset that Opie didn't make a big production out of getting the award, giving them nothing to underreact to. They do a great job of making everything all about them. That's a very simple concept that bad parents don't seem to get. The relationship is always on a parent's shoulders. You are the child. If the parents wanted a better relationship with you, they should have been, and should still be, actively attempting to mend that relationship. It's not on you. It's easy for your sister to blame you when she gets all their attention. It isn't your fault though, not the a-hole. I'm sorry your parents are so bad at being parents. They have been and are trying to fix it. Opie's bitter and shutting them out because she wants them to hurt like she did. That may be understandable, but it is also an a-hole move. Opie says they don't show an explicit interest in her studies or what she's doing. So it sounds like the refreshed relationship is on their terms as daughter, without considering she's an adult with interests of her own. I doubt they were even on her radar when sharing the news. If not interested in the day-to-day -day stuff, why be in the award unless to get some reflective glory? That doesn't make you bitter, just realistic. Not the a-hole. Not the a-hole. They've normalized this reaction you have. You can't be held accountable now when they've changed their outlook on life. Maybe with time you can become closer if you want. But don't worry about that and enjoy the thrill of the win. Congratulations. And your sister is the a-hole here for sticking her beak in. Last story. Am I the a-hole for telling my youngest brother the truth about everything? I-24 have a 26-year-old sister and a 23-year-old brother will call Jake. I also have a 12-year-old brother will call Ryan. And he's the reason for this conflict. When Jake was a kid, I'm not going to get into the specifics, but doctors didn't think he would make it to 12. Jake wasn't just the baby of the family, but also the only boy. Our parents really wanted a boy and always said it was a good thing Jake was a boy, because they didn't want to have a fourth kid. You see where this is going. Ryan was born when Jake was at the sickest, and Jake knew Ryan was supposed to be his replacement. Now Jake has been in remission for a decade, and he has always hated Ryan. Our parents also don't dote on Ryan like they did slash do Jake, and it's obvious to me that they regret having him. They are perfectly adequate parents to Ryan when Jake isn't around, but when he is, they ignore him so Jake doesn't get upset. On Thanksgiving, Jake said he was thankful for his parents and sisters. Ryan was upset that he wasn't counted, and our parents ended up telling him off and sending him to his room. Ryan has been miserable ever since. He keeps asking me why Jake hates him, and I decided he needed to know the truth. So he knew it wasn't anything he did. He was sad after I told him, but he thanks me for being honest. Last night, Ryan confronted our parents, and they are furious with me. They demanded that I call Ryan and tell him what I said was a mean prank. They said I had no right to tell anyone their business or make up horrible conclusions. But I didn't make it up. I know the truth. Am I the a-hole for telling it to Ryan? Not the a-hole. Your brother deserves to know what happened in the family before he was born. You just behaved like a big sister. Besides, it's better that he knows it's not his fault or anything that he did. That can lead to a lot of unnecessary self-hatred that he absolutely doesn't deserve. 
Also, your parents could really use some therapy. They don't seem aware of what they're doing and how badly it can affect Ryan. Or they know and they miserably dismiss it. Either way, not good. It sounds like the parents should send Jake to therapy too. And I'm not inclined to give him a pass for incorrectly blaming his brother for his parents' actions. Even if he is in remission, it wasn't Ryan's choice to be born. It was their parents' decision to replace their son when their sick son was still alive. It's like they're not even pretending to treat their children as individuals or anything more than a reflection of themselves. Regardless of the permutation, there are a lot of a-holes in this situation, but Opie is definitely not one of them. Think about it. Jake was 11 when their parents decided to do the deed and pop out another child. Opie mentioned that he was the sickest at that point, not to mention a newborn cries at late nights. Parents were caring for Ryan when Jake was potentially dying. Jake would see Ryan as replacement as a child. Probably he felt that when he dies, no one will even miss him as Ryan is here. Jake seriously needs therapy, and the parents don't deserve to have kids. I don't think after a few Thanksgiving they're going to have dinner together anymore. I definitely agree. Jake is going to regret it when he grows up, or when Ryan goes no contact with his family. One thing for sure, they're going to have an end of the family Thanksgiving dinners. Or if it happens, it's sure as hell going to be end in chaos.